So on today's test gear teardown, we've got an AVO meter. Now I have done an AVO meter before on test gear teardown. I took apart an AVO Model 8 multimeter, which is a very well-known, really recognizable AVO meter. Uh, many, many uh, examples of this meter were used in schools and all over Britain by electricians for many, many years. Uh, this meter that we're looking at today is made by the same company, AVO, but it's smaller. It's quite a bit smaller than the AVO Model 8. This is the AVO Model 1001. It's bright yellow, which is a much more modern sort of safety colour for this kind of thing. And this one, in fact, was sold by RS Components, stock number 610-922. Um, let's just compare it for size briefly with the uh, AVO 8. Uh, I'll put a link to that teardown video uh, in the description below. Uh, so this is the AVO Model 8. Quite a bit larger. I don't want to bump the table too much with that, but it is quite a big heavy lump. It's all uh, Bakelite and brass. Um, it's got big selector switches on the front here. So that's one that I've ta taken apart before. Today, the Model 1001. So what have we got? Um, well, it's got a selector switch on the front. For selecting range is a single selector switch rather than the dual switches of the AVO 8. It has, I think, quite an unusual uh, black background and white lettering on the display. So it's kind of reversed from what you'd normally expect for a, an analog multimeter. It's got the usual ohm zeroing control. Um, it has a continuity buzzer. Now that I think I need to demonstrate because the continuity buzzer um, I think, again, unusual for an analog multimeter, but, um, yeah, quite a, quite a buzzer or a, almost a, a honking sound. Um, not something that one would often find on an analog meter, uh, a continuity buzzer. Uh, it's got times one times 100 ohms ranges. It's got, uh, milliamps ranges up to one amp. It's got DC volts and AC volts. Uh, the lowest AC range, voltage range there is 10 volts. The highest is 1,000. On DC over here, uh, the lowest range is 2.5 volts and the highest is 1,000. So what's it like inside then? Let's take the probes out. This, th these probe leads, I have to say, I don't like them. Um, they've got this exposed live screw head on the side of the, um, the 4 millimeter, millimeter plug there, and that is nothing like even remotely safe. If you were measuring 1000 volt voltages, that would be live. So um, put those to one side, not worry about that too much. Um, the meter is the interesting bit. Let's uh, get that uh, to fill the frame like that and there we go um, so what do we have inside there is a battery compartment so this thing's got batteries which are used for the uh, ohms ranges and that's there and then we should be able to open up the battery compartment there it goes um, so that comes off and we have it quite some good stuff um, there are two AA batteries and there's a little a little bit of um, a little loop here around a fuse so there's a fuse there there's space for a spare fuse looks like someone's already popped this and the spare fuse is missing so we haven't got the spare replaced uh, these are the input terminals they're nice and recessed there's a spare one there that doesn't do anything in this model um, there's a brass nut which the screw does up into so that's not going to wear out that's the tilt stand that comes off at this stage um, so what else have we got I think there is a screw in each corner so let's undo those screws and let's see what we get well the back comes off 
one's not quite on the... Is that going to come off? Something is holding this. There it goes. Oh, no, there we go. That's it. That's it. So, okay, the, um, the battery contacts are spring, spring contacts, and they make contact with pads on the main board. So this is quite standard construction. There's no piece of wire linking the two. The contacts just press against the board, and that's what uh, brings the battery um, power across to the meter itself. Well, what do we have here then? Looks like it's a single PCB. Uh, the whole thing is made in one one board. Um, that's the back of the ohms adjusting um, pot. Um, this is the back of the meter movement itself. So this is this is where the the pivot point of the needle is. The needle's up here somewhere on the front. Input terminals. Um, the PCB isn't actually held down by anything now. I've kind of taken the screws out, so I, I won't um, take this apart much more than this, I don't think. Um, we've got some resistors down here. We've got some fairly big resistors, R18, R20 there. Um, that's the buzzer. That That is the thing that makes that funny buzzing sound when you do the continuity test. A big wire wound resistor. It looks like it's pretty much all resistors um, for setting the voltage and current ranges. Not a lot more than that. Um, and of course this over here is the back of the range switch. So as I turn the range switch on the front, that four-armed spider thing turns around. And it's got a clicky mechanism. Um, that would come to bits somehow. I don't think I want to mess about with that right now. Um, looks like there are little notches in the PCB. There's actually, um, in between each um, PCB land and the next one, there's actually a physical notch in the PCB, and there's some sort of grease on that. Probably some sort of um, contact grease uh, on the, the board there. So that's um, that, that's the range switch. Quite a nice click to it. But no electronics really to speak of in here. No amplification, no transistors by the looks of it. Um, just a bunch of resistors which set the voltage and current ranges. So it's simple. Um, it says over here, copyright Thorn EMI Instruments Limited. So these are... Um, the, the, the parent company of AVO, they, they were bought by Thorn EMI. I think Mega was also bought by Thorn EMI. Um, but I can't see a date code. I'm looking for some sort of date code on here. And we don't think we've got any active components that would have a date code on them. And we've got nothing on the board, so we can't really tell what date this is, which is a bit of a shame. I'd put it somewhere in the 80s, I think. Um, interesting, on the front... It does tell us, over here in the corner of the dial, it says, on DC, it's 10k ohms per volt. On AC, 1k ohms per volt. Now, that means that it's actually only half as sensitive as the big AVO Model 8, which is 20k ohms per volt. Now, the ohms per volt uh, rating on a meter like this... Um, you can work that back into a current, because it's ohms per volt, so you, you can put that back into a current. Um, with 10k ohms per volt, that means that it takes 100 microamps to get the needle over to the full-scale position. On the big AVO, the AVO Model 8, it's 20k ohms per volt, and it takes only 50 microamps. This one's 100 microamps. The big AVO is 50 microamps. And sure enough, the lowest current rating here that it can measure is 0.1 milliamps or 100 microamps. So when it's in, in that range, we're talking directly from... The, the, the connection is direct from the uh, input terminals to the um, meter movement. It's a 100 microamp meter movement. So only half as sensitive 
as the big Ava, which means it will draw from your circuit that you're measuring 100 microamps to get the meter to full scale. Uh, 50 microamps for half scale, 25 microamps, quarter scale. Um, so that 100 microamps that you draw from your circuit just to, to, to physically move the, the, the needle, that can affect the operation of your circuit. Your circuit might might only be operating with maybe 50 microamps of internal um, current within your circuit. So you apply the meter and suddenly you're trying to draw more than that and your circuit stops working. Uh, so the meter, handle a meter like this can affect the operation of the circuit and this one to a greater extent than the bigger Ava. It's quite nice though, isn't it? It's not got a, uh, a rubber seal round it. There's no waterproofing seal round, which the big Ava has. Um, we have on here nothing to really say about the back of the battery compartment I don't think fairly nice um, yellow rugged uh, case um, ah there is a date code it's on the outside I missed it completely earlier 1186 so this was made in November 1986 um, so I was right thinking it was somewhere in the 80s 1986, so what's that, 33 years old, very nearly. Um, so there we have it, I think. Um, let's just pop that back on there. Um, the AVO Model 1001 Analog Multimeter.